Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss an update on the Cardano network. What I do here is I provide tutorials, I break down news into simple terms, into what they actually mean for the everyday user and everyday investor within Cardano. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through the K value. That is the big topic right now. There's K value, saturation, all these kind of terms going around with numbers attached to them. And what do they actually mean to you? So I will give actual examples with numbers on what it means to you if you are in an oversaturated pool, what it means to your returns, your rewards, and how you can proceed from there. If you are looking for a stake pool, then my own stake pool is active now and open for delegation. I do appreciate all delegation as it does help support the channel and I will be running a very efficient and reliable stake pool. The ticker is Paul. Any questions, also let me know down below. K-value is this is, defines the saturation level of a pool. So I will explain exactly what saturation level means in one minute with some numbers. But first off, the K level right now is at 150. So this means the desired stake pools is about 150. This number is going to change to K equals to 500 on the 6th of December. Now, what this means is that the saturation level of a pool comes from well over 100 million all the way down to 64 million. So once a pool goes over 64 million, it is classed as saturated. And in simple terms, what that means is that if the pool has 64 million or if it has 100 million, it is still going to earn the same amount of rewards. Up to that point, you will earn more and more rewards for the um, number of ADA staked to your pool. But once you get to 64 million, that stops. So the same rewards will be paid out, but the rewards are then split between more delegators, which means that you will end up with less at the end of the day. So looking at this in some numbers. So let's say a pool has 64 million ADA in it. And these numbers again are not 100% accurate, these are rounded up numbers just to give you whole numbers that are easier to digest in this video, but it will show you how this all actually works. So the pool is 64 million, as you see up above me here, the delegation rewards for that 64 million is 50 ADA. So that means that each ADA staked then, each ADA staked in that pool earns a reward of 0.00078125 ADA. So if you had 10K staked to that pool, your rewards would be 7.8125 ADA for that epoch. Now, if that pool actually had 100 million ADA in it, what does that mean? Well, if the pool had 100 million ADA in it, the delegators still get the same rewards. They still get 50,000 ADA as the rewards for that pool, but that is then split over the 100 million ADA that is staked to the pool. So that means that the reward per ADA in that pool is then brought down to 0 0.0005. So your 10K ADA would then only be earning you five ADA. So what that means is in a saturated pool, you are going to be earning less ADA. As you see in this example, in the saturated pool, you will be taking home five ADA as your awards, but in a pool that isn't yet saturated, you would be getting 7.8125 ADA. So these are small examples, but when you start putting in bigger numbers and you start considering that this is on a per epoch basis, these figures do add up over time. Okay, so looking on my screen here now, I'm looking at pooltool.io. So I'm just going to show you how you can see if your pool is saturated or if it's going to be saturated come December 6th. So what you do is you look over here, I have this ordered by live stake and I can see 200 million, 194 million, 191. These are the top pools or the top filled pools. And these are already saturated. So these are already earning diminishing returns for their delegators. If I come down the bottom, that's only 20 pools. Let's put 100 on the screen here. And as you can see, when I scroll down to the bottom, the 100th biggest pool right now has 73 million in it. So that 
the first, the top 100 are all going to be saturated come December 6th. So there's going to be a lot, or there should be a lot of movement within the network of funds moving out of these pools and looking to get into smaller pools. This is good for the decentralization of the network as well. If I scroll back up the top now, which this is page two, so this is 101 to 200 pools. I scroll down and I see there is still a good 20 pools there that are all saturated. So at least the top 120 are going to be saturated, maybe even 130. So when you are looking for a pool to move to, obviously I, lo I would love to see people coming into my own pool so we can really get it cranking. But what I will say to you is when you are looking at a pool, so look at my previous video, which talks about the fees and everything you need to look at when you're getting into a pool. But as a high level on the number of ADA in a pool, I would say definitely anything over 60 is not the pool to go into because that one can go into saturation level very quickly. Personally, I would be looking at something like under 50 million. 50 million would be the top that I would look to go into because any pool that is running above that runs the risk of going oversaturated very quickly. If people who are not aware of what that all means, they might pile into a pool and they can push it over the limits very quickly. Whereas if you are in one that is less, it is a lot harder for it to go into the saturation level. So if you're in a pool and you're keeping up to date with what they're all doing, check out their telegram groups, check out their websites, see are the big pools opening new pools. Some are opening multiple pools. Maybe you want to stick with them. Maybe you want to support some of the smaller pools. Make up your own mind, but I hope that everything I've given you in this video is a help. Thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate any likes, subscribes, and of course, any delegations to Paul. I will talk to you soon. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.